Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Today I want to bring you a little video, a little update about what's going to be happening in the next month or so on the channel, as well as an update of where I've been lately. Uh, as you all know, uh, I still have videos to edit from my transatlantic cruise on the Royal Princess, and now I've just been on the Allure of the Seas, uh, and I'm sailing again next month. And I'm going to tell you all about it, and I'm also going to give you a little teaser of some of the things I did while I was on the Allure of the Seas. All that coming up right after this. Quickly before I get into the update, I'd like to say that this video is actually being sponsored by Phoenix. And I know what you're saying, Don, you don't do sponsored videos and you rarely talk about products because you all know there's a couple criteria I have to have before I'll mention any products on my channel. Number one, I have to use the product, period. Number two, I have to like the product, a <laughs> big period. And number three, it can't be overly expensive to the point of, well, I can get something much cheaper that does the exact same job. So yeah, I, I don't like to talk about products unless I actually use them. And this is a product that I use. And the reason I'm bringing it up because I just had some things happen on this cruise that I'd like to tell you why I use these type of things. Now, this is not my normal bag. My normal bag I use is much smaller and I got this new one from Phoenix and immediately threw my old one out. And that's because my old one was about half this size. And I had to fold up all my documents. Basically, this keeps all my documents in one place. So I know where everything is. I keep my passport in here. When I'm traveling, I keep all my itinerary, my flights, all my, my cruising uh, boarding passes, everything I keep in here. So I know exactly where it is. And it's the right size that it, nothing has to be folded up. I hate going up and crinkling up and unfolding papers and then trying to scan them at the airport. Hate doing that kind of stuff. So immediately I kept this one. Another great thing about this is, remember a little while back when everybody's in the news was cell phones and the cell phones were catching on fire and actually some airlines had luck people's luggage up in the compartment would catch on fire while they're flying in the mid-flight uh that's well this bag is fireproof so what i use this for is charging my batteries and keeping battery camera camera batteries inside as well it's resistant inside you can see this the lining inside it's a double layer of fireproof lining so you put your phone in you zip up the cord and if anything does ever happen while you're charging it contains it in here but like i said i don't recommend things too often on the channel unless i actually use it it's not expensive and i like the product so this is what I like. So, I just got back from the Allure of the Seas, the, one of the largest cruise ships in the world, the Oasis class ship. It was fantastic. They had Mamma Mia on board. And if you haven't seen Mamma Mia on a Broadway show, this one was a great production. One of the things that I found that I really like and remember now about the Oasis class ships is how large the stage is. Not necessarily the theater. The theater capacity is probably about the same as a lot of other large cruise ships, but the theater stage size itself is huge and they can do so much with that much room. You can have a ton of people on stage where other cruise lines are limited by the space of the stage that they have. And if they were to put 20, 25 people on their stage, they would be bumping into each other. But on the East Sky class ships, it looked, uh, quite nice and there's lots of room for them to do it. So Mamma Mia, great production. I met lots of people on board who just saw Greece on another Oasis class ship and they loved that as well. 
Symphony of the Seas. It's going to be having Hairspray on board. So the show productions are quite nice. Now, while I was on board, this was a travel agent trip. So they were giving us training on board. So I didn't get a chance to do all the things I wanted to do because we were in training a good part of this cruise. Classroom times, uh, touring rooms, uh, itinerary changes, upcoming ports, upcoming ships, all these change refurbishments, all this classroom time that we were given to uh, select travel agents from across North America were present. I uh, actually met five fellow Canadians. I was the only one from my travel agency, uh, but I did meet fellow Canadians and we all hung out together as it turns out. We seemed for some reason to get along quite well and uh, ended up seeing a lot of shows together and dining together as well. So I'm going to bring you a little teaser of some of the things I was able to do on board and check out and uh, I'll be back right after this. Tonight we're running on the right track There you go that's just a few things that i saw while i was doing uh, my allure of the seas trip last week uh, great weather as you can see lots to do and i'll be bringing those videos very shortly one last thing i have one more announcement for everybody i booked another cruise for december 15th that's right i'm not sailing on christmas but i'm sailing up until the 22nd of Christmas of December so uh, very close this year but I'm not sailing actually on Christmas like I normally do this time I'm going on a very interesting cruise a cruise line I haven't been on in years and years and years and I'm kind of excited about it and I'm kind of worried about it at the exact same time and I'll tell you why 
The cruise line is Cunard. And as you all know, Cunard is one of the first class cruise line, premier cruise lines out there. Very old world, very traditional, very sophisticated cruise line. And that's not really what concerns me. I'm kind of excited about that, but I'm sailing a transatlantic cruise again. That's right. I don't do transatlantic for a long time and I do two in almost two months apart. And this one is in December. <laughs> So it's a seven day cruise from Southampton to New York, all seven days on the ocean. And as you all might imagine, the weather in December in the Atlantic might not be the smoothest and the warmest out there. Uh, so this should be very interesting, but I am getting really excited to sail on the Queen Mary 2. The Queen Mary 2 is actually the only true uh, cruise liner out there made for the ocean. The hull is double thick. It's designed specifically to regularly travel across the Atlantic no matter what the weather. It can face 100 foot waves with no issues where other cruise lines would run away from that stuff. Uh, not because uh, you know uh, it wouldn't be able to do it, but it's not made for that. And you couldn't do that on a regular basis with a regular cruise ship. But this is a true ocean liner, and I'm really excited to take this cruise uh, next month. But in the meantime, lots of tips coming up, lots of tricks, lots of videos, lots of vlogs from the Allure, and even more from the Royals. So stay tuned for a lot more videos coming up very shortly. I hope you like this update, and if you want to check out the Phoenix bag, please check it out down below. I'll leave all the links and all the connections that you can check it out. It's not very expensive, and it's a product that I actually love. So until next time, have yourself, oh, well, of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.